So last week we took you with us to Connecticut where we picked up our brand new 1920 Ford Model T. Welcome to Copart. Welcome to Copart. Welcome to Copart, East Grandview, Connecticut. So when we pulled down the driveway, it was the first thing that we saw out front. They were sad to see that their prized possession was leaving. Now when we made the purchase, we had no intentions of trying to crank it in the snow. So they said they would gladly bring it around to the trailer. Lo and behold, the biggest forklift I've seen in years. We weren't exactly sure on the height of it. We did have to put the top down in order to make it fit or else we would have driven 900 miles for nothing. But they were so professional and the precision of them putting it in the trailer was incredible. Good? Yeah. yeah. This literally only took a matter of minutes. In a few more minutes, we had it strapped down and we were ready to roll. One of the ladies I talked to at the auction house suggested three brothers, so we checked it out. Pretty good stuff. Back on the road for a few hours, and what do we see? The WWE headquarters. Navigating the narrow roads, bridges, and tunnels was totally exhausting. I guess you could say we had tunnel vision. I think we were crossing the Delaware River at this point. If you know, leave us a comment. And a milestone moment here for a thousand miles. Not sure if the pilot thought we were the landing strip, but they got pretty close. So in this part of the country, if you need gas, these are called service areas. We left this in there because not only can you fill up your tank or you can have it filled up for you, I guess I should say. You can also go to Chick-fil-A, Burger King, or Starbucks. So this was one of those learning moments in our trip when Todd pulled up, hopped out to pump his gas, and they stopped him cold in his tracks. In New Jersey, it is illegal to pump your own gas. So the guy washed my windows and he actually did a good job. And I tipped him five dollars, but I kind of felt like I insulted him. While the guys were outside handling the gas business, I went inside for some creature comforts and Starbucks. I guess you could say we're locals now. At this time, we didn't even flinch at the price. Someone tell us which bridge this is. If you know, please comment below. Thank you. Welcome to Delaware. We made it to Delaware, and guess how they greeted us? Can I get a receipt? Yep, deja vu, here we go again. $7. You gonna get a receipt. Sunsets, smokestacks, and scenery, we saw it all. The last 80 miles or so was my stint, and yeah, I hate to admit, but I ran out of gas. 1,786.6 miles, it was a long trip. We finally made it home, and unloaded it on Tuesday morning. As we were exploring our new car, Todd found this treasure, a handwritten owner's manual from a previous owner. If you don't know where the gas tank is, it's under the seat. 
If you've ever cranked up a Model T, you really should have it jacked up on the back end to keep it from running over you. I didn't want to use the original jack, so I grabbed my Ford jack. And you know the saying, when the top goes down, the price goes up. Time is all over. <laughs> I have been waiting for years for this moment. Um, Todd, is this a problem? So we did all the maintenance. I really don't know what I'm doing, but I've always wanted something that was over 100 years old. So we're going to take you for our first ride with us. Your feet? I stopped. I stopped. Thanks, dude. We didn't do something right, but we're having fun. Even though they're three miles down the road, I think. <laughs> Alright, if you know me, you know I grew up racing. That's my background on cars. Well, why not race a Model T? All right, so we ran it till we ran it out of gas. I'm talking about slap out of gas. Luckily, we were in front of Jennifer's dad's house and uh, he helped us out with that. But uh, we've had fun with it. We're fixing to put it up. Before we end the video, uh, I need to thank two people to help me and Jennifer out with this. And that was our buddy Marty that went with us on the trip. He was in it for the long haul. And my buddy Philip Gilbert that let us borrow his trailer. Um, Philip, I will never ask you to borrow that trailer again and go north of Richmond. I can guarantee you that. Y'all make sure to give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button.